This is the home to over 90 mammal species, over 300 birds, 33 reptile species, 9 amphibians, and over 120 butterfly species, covering an area of 4,577 square kilometers. That is 457,700 hectares. It is the Mole National Park, Ghana's biggest wildlife reserve, situated in the northern region of Ghana. We actually have the Mole Museum right now, and I'm seeing some really weird things. This is what, what's, what's this? That's a buffalo. The head of a buffalo. It's, it's a meal. Oh, are these real, real scars? Yeah, they are real scars. And they you died naturally. Oh, so they died naturally? Naturally. And then you brought the scars and the remains here? Yeah. So this is the head of a buffalo. Whoa. So, I can see the jaw and the teeth. No, the jaw has been no, taken. The jaw is taken out of the teeth. Yeah. Okay, and this is another buffalo, the another female. This is the female. Oh, that's the male buffalo and yeah, that's the female, female buffalo. The scars. Yeah. Whoa, and then this is what? This is the uh, roan antelope. Okay. So you say this is the head of a roan antelope. Roan antelope. Yeah. It's, it's one of the species of antelope that you have. Yeah. How, well, how many kinds of species do you have? You know, we have. In the, the park? Uh, the, for the, uh, the mammals, we have. Uh, 94 species of mammals in the, uh, the park. 94 species of mammals. mammals. Okay, and this is what? This is the ivory or oh, the tax of the elephant. Oh, this yeah. what it looks this like. This is the main this reason why heavy. the the hunters hunt the uh, the elephants. Oh. Yeah. So this ivory, this one looks like. So the, what is this used for actually? Used for the ivory. Yeah. For the poachers. Jewelry, Jewelry and that. bangalows and other so many things. Yes, yeah. this is heavy. Wow. This is just the broken. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's, this it's is not very the whole length of the elephant. Definitely, I can tell. And this is what? The tail oh. of the elephant. This yeah. is a tail of an elephant. The brush, shot. Well, unfortunately, the brush of it has been uh, tailed off. Okay. Yeah. Wow. The tail of an elephant. Huh. Interesting. And this looks like uh, the hatabis. This is the hatabis. I don't know what that is. Uh, this is. They look the, like antelopes, right? Yeah, they are within. They all fall and, uh, within the antelope family. family. Uh, yeah. And this is what? The water bog. Oh, there's hatabis and there's water bog. Water bog. How do you differentiate the horn? You know, this uh, both male and female mm -hmm. have the horns. Yes. But this water bog, only the males. Have the horns, the females don't have horns. Yeah. Wow. And this is like a. This is a, the cob. You can see the, the iron behind the wheel. Oh, that one. That's the cob. Okay. And this is the animal the, uh, the in the northern sector. Before a chief can be uh, skinned, yes. this is the, what the skin they sit on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. I see this. And uh, this is the bush buck. Bush buck. Bush buck. You can see the city okay. right here. Mm -hmm. Whenever that's what we use for the Aquachery Festival. Oh. And then uh, we have oh, oh, oh. Don't tell me. African uh, python. Which the what? Eight African? python. Eight, nine years ago, swallowed a crocodile and they both died at the second water hole. Whoa, wait. In I, Muli I National Park. The python swallowed the, the crocodile. The crocodile. Yeah. And they both died. They both died. died. Wow. Well, maybe the claws of the elephant, the, the crocodile, the crocodile maybe cleaned the intestines of the elephant. So he had an internal bleeding, and then he hmm. died. And how long is it? How many feet? Eight feet? Or more? Should be more. Oh, this is the skin of a royal python. Royal no. python. Yeah. This is not the royal python. This is the African African python. African python. 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 Oh, this is real? Yeah, it's real. In Ghana? Yes, we have a lot in Moli National Park. A lot of pythons? Pythons. Well, that, that makes the park very dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. It makes the park very yeah, dangerous. Yeah, that is why we advise people to go with a close foot. Before you embark on the safari, you have to be in a close foot way. Yeah. Close foot way as in? Like, people going in a simple, like Chaliwati and what and what. No, we don't advise that. But how would that protect you? Uh, 33 species of reptiles in the in the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and they, are, they can be found anywhere in the, within the park. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what? This is the skin of a crocodile? crocodile yeah. Whoa, this is what it feels like. Yeah. This is hard. This is very, very hard. And this is real? Yeah, it's real. So how do you get this? The crocodile died? He and died and found it. So then just, then what is this? The skin it's of a yellow buck daika. Buck daika. Yeah. In the antelope family? Yeah, within the antelope family. Okay, 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 okay. And this obviously is uh, the witch buck. The and this buck. is the, the cow. Oh. I see a foot. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I see a foot. How long ago has this been here? Well, I don't know. More than five years ago. Wow. So how do you preserve these? Uh, after scanning with plywood, then we sprinkle uh, ash. Ordinary ash? Ordinary ash onto it. Okay, and what does that do? To prevent the uh, flies from sitting on. Oh, okay. 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 And what else? These are weapons from here. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. These are some uh, ancient weapons. These are uh, probably confiscated from uh, the coaches being mm -hmm. arrested. In the okay. park. This is a trap. This is a trap. No, this, this is a hunting lamp. Oh, the hunting lamp. Oh, the one you fit to your forehead. Yes, this is used for night, the night hunter. Mm, yeah. I remember seeing this in the uh, story books and all that. I've never seen one. And, uh, so what? They, they put in the what? It looks like a bobo, like you know the yeah. this a kerosene you lantern. Know, you put a carbide here, oh. then a, a water up here. Mm -hmm. This is the, the regulator. Okay. Then place this on your head. Then you strike a match here. Then yeah. and blaze the eyes of the animal oh. and they shoot us. Oh, that's how it works actually. Yeah. Wow. And this obviously is a, is a knife, knife, knife jacket or yeah. uh, what they call it, uh, a holster. Piece. Yeah, well, the knife. Mm. And uh, this is where they put their arms and uh, their ammunitions. I was doing the hunting, mm. during the hunting. Put it's locally made? Yeah, it's locally, locally made, made, yeah. And what's this, like a talisman? Yeah, it's a talisman. What, what would any talisman for? To protect them. So the sometimes they believe these are the things they wear on them and can put... Uh, protect them from attacks? Yeah, or sometimes from being arrested. Wow, this is so weird. Yeah. This is so weird. Yeah. And uh, what else do we this, have here? These are all concussions. What do you mean? Oh, these are also like yeah, talisman. The talisman. They wear around their uh, sometimes their waist, their waist, or their neck. Their neck. Yeah. This one, their neck. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this will fit my neck. No. To go past my head. <laughs> yeah. Little surfaces. You need a, a, you need a head smaller head. Small, yeah. You need a smaller. Yes. <laughs> a smaller head to have this. Yeah. This is like we're a god, like for water. Uh, is it? No, no, no. This is a fish. It's a global uh, fish. Very poisonous. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the global fish. Global fish? Yeah. Found where? In uh, the Moli River. Wait, wait, is this the face of the fish? Yeah, th that is the face of it. Oh my goodness, this is ugly <laughs> and scary. You can find this in Moli. Moli. Where? In the pond? <coughs> you can in actually the, find In the river. Oh, you can find this in the yeah, river? In the Moli River. Oh, wait, so that's the fish there, the face. And then. Oh my god, that's the tail. Whoa. It's not edible, is it? No, it's very poisonous. Very poisonous. Yeah. So it can kill? Yes. When you, a little piece of it enter into your mouth, of your gun. Oh my god. Yeah. This is a very ugly fish. Yeah. So, what? If you press this, what am I going to get? You no, know, why this in water? Mm -hmm. It's not. It looks like an ordinary fish. When you is at shore, then it continue to. Uh, oh, so it bloats when it's. Yeah, when it's at shore. Oh, this is weird. Never heard this anywhere. Strange things are happening. And this is also what? What uh, is this? It's also uh, uh, the juju. <laughs> wow. Wow. And this this is the the skin of the rune antelope. Mm -hmm. The it's, it's got a line on the back. Yeah. Like so a rich back, yeah. a dog, it's you know. It's a very beautiful animal. Oh. And it is one of the, the protected animals. So this is what it looks like in real yeah. life. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's beautiful. So if we happen to go out, maybe. Uh, I'm sure we'd encounter the yes, roan antelope. The roan antelope. 
I'm sure we'll encounter one. And this, what is this? You know, a that is a grey daika. A grey daika? Yeah. What, what animal is this? Uh, oh, the one they call a trainer. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know the English name. Oh, you said That's a grey daika. A grey daika. A grey daika. Uh, and this is the water book. The water book. Yeah. Oh, this is what it looks like. Yeah. That's, that's some some interesting pieces you have here. And then we have the hatabis. Okay, this is what the hatabis looks like. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen one. I'm sure we'd all see we saw antelopes. Yeah, but yeah. It, we are not antelopes. We are all one. What are these? Hatabis. 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 Hmm. Uh, this is a gin trap being set in the fall by poachers mm -hmm. to catch a lot of these antelopes. How does it work? Press here, and then it's open here. Then one of these gets down here. Mm -hmm. Then you lock it this way. So it is there. So the antelope, the antelope walks in its steps? One walks in its head. It shoots up. And it kills it instantly? No. It won't die? It will die. Yeah. Okay. And this then is, we have the tortoise. This lives on land. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then we have the turtle. This lives in water. And we have a lot in the water hole we visited this morning. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Then uh, back here is the ear of the elephant. You're joking. Yeah. This is how huge the ear looks like. Yeah. The ear of an elephant. elephant. Yeah. I'm sure many people have never seen this. And it feels so weird and it's hard. Then, uh, this is a full ear of a, yeah. of, of a fully grown elephant. elephant. One side. Wow. Then uh, we have the baboon. Oh, yeah. very fairy. Yeah. Oh. That's the baboon. Yeah. So what, you have to wait for all these animals to die before you can actually collect their remains. Yeah, yes. So it means that when the animals are alive, your, your museum is empty. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing this over the years, so yes. definitely Molly has been in existence. Yeah. How long has Molly been in existence? Uh, it started in the early 1950s. Oh, so clearly yeah. over the period you would have yeah. casualties. Oh my god, and this uh, is a crocodile. This is a crocodile. It's a real scar of a crocodile. But people buy this for medicinal purposes. Yeah. But they believe, <coughs> they believe in a certain potency that these cows have. Are these real? Yeah, I mean, they are real. I'm talking about the, 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 the purchase of the heads of crocodiles that many do for medicinal purposes. Yeah, but here, if you come here, you will not get it. Mm. But you know of it, that people are buying it. Yeah, we are buying yeah. There's another head. What's the difference between this and that? Male, female? This should be a female. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. this is what? It's a snake. That is the royal python. Oh, that's a royal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even in death. Yeah. <laughs> Even in death, I do not want to touch this. This is the head. The head of a real python. Scary. I can't believe I'm touching this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good feeling at all. Trust me, it's not. And it's a full length. Yes. Yeah. But these are not poisonous snakes. No, no, they? no. They are, they are edible. And I see a friend. Who's that? This is a mongoose. Oh, that's what a mongoose looks like. Yeah. And this is also another nocturnal animal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. <coughs> that's the baboon. The baboon. And yeah. this is what? It's a grey daika. The animal. Oh. Oh. So that's a baboon. Yeah. And that's another... Sure. Yeah, this and another baboon. And this is what? And an advac, another animal, hmm. a nocturnal animal that lives in the hole. Okay. Yeah. And this is, this is another hole. Oh. A hyena. Oh, you have hyenas here too? Yeah, we have. You have hyenas here? Yeah. And this is uh, the same. Oh, male, female? Yeah, this male and female. And this is what you do. And uh, we have the. Oh, the yes. bone, the shame bone of the elephant. I, I can carry this. This is this is what? This is what? The shame bone. Shame bone? Yeah. 
the pump. Whoa, this is heavy. Of this the elephant. Very heavy. Yeah. And uh, I, we have the... How much does an elephant weigh, actually? Fully grown elephant. Do you have an idea? Oh, this is, this is serious. Then It is very heavy. Yeah. Then we have the skin Which of the, the elephant. Skin? This is the lower abdomen of the elephant. Uh, some say the elephant is not hairy, but it's yeah, so you, can, feel, you can feel it. To see I can how feel it. some funny hair. Yeah. It feels like uh, the, the... In the form the, of a brush. The brush. The oh. white scalp. Of the elephant. So, trust me, if, if a I male service, elephant. If I saw this anywhere, I would not believe it's a scalp. It looks like a tree, a part of a tree. Yeah. An elephant scalp. That's a male elephant. Then, uh, this is huge. We have the trunk of the elephant. This is the trunk of the elephant. Then uh, these are the skins, the skin of the elephant used in carving the map of Africa. Okay. Mulin, uh, Ghana. Oh, that's the Ghana flag there. Yeah. That's the sorry, Ghana map. Then uh, Africa, and then uh, the map of Muli National Park. Okay. That covers an area of 4,577 square kilometers. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Then, I uh, see, I see. Yeah, we, are, we soon get there. This is wow. the, the lower jaw of the elephant. Uh -huh. Then we have the front foot, and then this is the back foot. That's the front foot of the yeah. elephant. The real front foot. Of yeah, the real, real foot, front foot. Wow, I'm sure many people have no idea what you guys have here. This, this is, is the back foot of the back elephant. Foot. Yeah. Then, uh, another lower jaw here. Then we have the back foot bone mm -hmm. of the elephant. And what's and that? The premature baby? Yeah, the produce of the elephants. This was born premature? Yeah, it so was a year old in the mother's womb when an unidentified gang man killed the mother in 1982 and we have been able to preserve it up to date. Since 1982? Yeah. Wow, this is impressive. Yeah. This is impressive. And it hasn't gone back. No. So what, what do you use in preserving this? Formalin. Formalin. Yeah. Same formalin that is used for yeah. dead bodies. Yeah. Wow, for you, So now at the moment it's lying in the pool of formalin. This is 1982. Yeah. Do you do you do you drain our formalin? No, we formalin. continue topping it when it gets to touch the body. Mm -hmm. the, the, then we topping it. How come it why because it evaporates? It, it's over evaporates. So you can see the yeah, of the uh, this thing. That's a real elephant. elephant. Yeah. The fetus. So it wasn't it wasn't fully formed actually. Yeah, it was a year old. You know the. No, it, it looks like a fully formed elephant. elephant. Yeah, you know the gestation. How long, how long is the gestation period of the of the, for an yeah. elephant? Twenty-two to twenty-four months. Twenty-two to twenty-four. Yeah. And it was actually in its mother's womb for what, ten months. Yeah. And the mother was killed. Killed. Yeah. Wow. But even ten months, it looks fairly. You know, also that's the umbilical the, cord there. Yeah. That's the umbilical cord. Just like humans. Yeah. So I could, but it, it, it looks fully formed. It's fully you formed. You see a full trunk. Yeah. Clearly, I see the ears. I see two, two so legs and the hind legs. It was a year old. Mm-hmm. Twelve months. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. That's impressive. These are not doctored pictures. These are not pictures from from overseas. I mean, like no. magazine or... No. No, whatever you see here uh -huh. is in Moli National uh, Park. No, but are these creatures that were captured in the park? Yes. Really? Yeah. These are these are creatures That's captured in the park with your own camera in the park. Yes. I'm surprised. I see a lot of greenery. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Most of them were taken during the uh, the rainy season. So okay. this place, the forest was uh, green. Okay. So these are not foreign pictures, these are real no, 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 no. pictures taken in yeah. Ghana at the Moji National Park. Park. Wow, I am I'm surprised. So these are elephant swimming. Swimming. Oh yeah, yeah taking what, a bath. What have we visited? So how, how close did you go in taking the who, who took these pictures? Do you have an idea? Uh, about one uh, of the tall guys, Samuel Alfonso Minsa. Ghanaian. Oh that's impressive. I'm yeah. sure he used 
uh, uh, camera with a very long, I mean, powerful lens yeah. in capturing the details of these these animals. So you have bats here. Yeah, we have bats. And you have all these species, species of birds. Of birds. We have over 344. Over 344. Species of birds. Wow. And this is clearly a baboon, right? And what's that? An anthill? Anthill and then uh, some amphibians. Oh, it's like a millipede and centipedes. Yeah. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. This is here for people to know that uh, to know that we have this species of animals mm -hmm. in this park. But, but they are not extinct. They are still existent. They are still in existence. So we can get virtually every species of animal that you have here. Yeah, everything that we see. Maybe. Apart from the uh, the Afri uh, African, African python, python. Oh, I, I don't think I want to see that. <laughs> I honestly don't think I want to see that so African apart python. Apart from that, all the species. On what, the where did the head go anyway? Oh, uh, this is the head. Oh, the head is yeah. still there. Yeah, it's there, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. So all the species species line up on this table. Mm -hmm. You have the chance to see them when you go out on okay. your safari. So tell me about the uh, maintenance of these. Uh, I mean, the patronage of. You know, here we don't it's charge, it's open. It's open. It's open. So, so, so for free. Free. Anybody who can here. only donate for the active of the of the place. Do people donate? Yeah, they donate. They do. Ghanaians, foreigners? Both. Okay. Yeah. But then I realize it's a construction work going on outside. Obviously you may need more space yeah. to accommodate more of the scouts and the remains that yeah. you have here. And, uh, how is that going to be completed? Oh, What's the idea anyway? I mean, you know, have the, you lift the space? Yeah, you know, we have a lot of things to show to people and uh, the place is too small. Tourism is easily one of the untapped areas of opportunity in respect of development in our country. And again, I think that the Sada region presents a fantastic opportunity. I think private sector um, needs to perhaps be more accessible and, and take advantage of what is available. We are not looking at business opportunities through the activities that we have. We, we don't do that. We, do, we, we see them only as entertainment. And so we go to experience it and walk away without seeing what business opportunities are in there for me and ask what, what, what can be done for me if I want to do this. Is there, is there potential? If you want to actually attract invest, investors or you want to actually attract tourists who are actually big money spenders, you need to develop the hotel industry to a very high level that will actually meet the demands of this category of people. After seeing all those remains at the Morley Museum, I had a better appreciation of the kinds of animals that existed in the park. I had a few questions for management, especially regarding the safety of tourists and how well trained the tour guides are for any eventuality. Apart from carrying firearms, they are well trained. Combat? Combat ready. They are taught bushcraft, what to do when you are in the fall, you know, and then what to do when you are faced with, you know, danger, either from animals, uh, from the wild, or from even poachers, how to take cover, how to fish out your enemy, you know, and when you are under attack, what to do. Yes, what so we do the training because we have trainers of trainers. Uh, some of us have. Um, undergone serious uh, training, you know, military training, survival, even gone to, uh, yeah, so, yeah, bushcraft, and then, so we are, we have a very strong uh, capacity when it comes to training our staff for field work. 
throughout my working life, in wildlife, uh, over 20 years, we have not recorded a single accident where a tourist has been harmed by um, uh, animals. And like I said, uh, the animals naturally, especially those, you know, in the tourism zone, uh, we make sure that the place is secured. In one, the animal is not wounded, and they get used to people. They are not aggressive. The, if the elephants, then and I, I've said earlier on that the mole elephants appear to be a special breed. They are not shy. They know humans. You know, they are very friendly. And as for the other animals, you know, we virtually live with them. It is said that the private sector is the engine of growth for Ghana's economy, an assertion the management of the park agrees with. To start with, uh, the state must develop assets, linking all the sectors of the park, especially targeting where we think there are potential concession sites. That is the only way the, uh, the potential investors can take up the challenge, because they know when they put in their money, the tourists will come and they can make their money in good time. If you take the rainy season assets, I think uh, the, road, the road network covers just about 5% of the whole park. Yeah, the rainy season asset is just about 5%. Because from where we are seated at the park headquarters, in the rainy season, you can't go beyond um, 25 kilometers from where we are seated. With the four wheel drive. drive. Because some part of the, the, that road is inundated by water, it's flooded. If the dry season asset could go as up to about 10%, that's all of it. We have an airstrip in Mole. Strip. And uh, I know the Tamale Airport is being upgraded to an international standard. There are a number of airlines operating in, 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 in Ghana and coming to Tamale. I believe that if the Mole Airstrip is rehabilitated, it's just by the, at the gates. Yes, it's an 800 meter airstrip just for lighter aircraft. But it's no longer in use, it's out of use now. I believe that if we're able to rehabilitate that airstrip, you know, I mean, somebody wanting to come and enjoy Mole for a day, you travel 14 hours, the people want to come, but the travel time is too much. So I believe that if the Mole airstrip is rehabilitated and expanded, some of these airlines can even choose to touch down in Mole, drop some tourists or pick some tourists, and that will even boost yeah, to improve the transportation system. For close to 10 years now or more, we have been trying to identify people or private businesses that are interested in and managing them. Some kind of concession agreement, belt, operate, and handover. But fortunately, I think for about three years now, we've managed to get an investor who is interested. And then the, we have granted the first site, which is um, going to be a 25 uh, room medium to luxury. Ecological. Yeah, uh, eco lodge. Eco lodge, yes. Once the first site is, is done, hopefully by the third quarter of this year, they'll move to the second site and start developing. That would add about 50 uh, luxury uh, rooms lodges to the existing one. After all that talk, I took a drive to the construction site to catch a glimpse of the much talked about Eco Lodge, which is expected to boost tourism at the park after completion. They started in uh, 2012, the construction started with the project manager Alex Saite leading the team. This is going to be the first ki its own kind of uh, lodge in, in Ghana, it's basically we can say in West Africa. Uh, with all the facts that this is going to be a complete full flesh uh, safari lodge. Uh, in the market, we are really looking for the, the Ghanaian market, definitely if you ask it. Uh, we will be having looking for, we, there's a lot of opportunities in, in Ghanaian market from the sectors of expatriate segment. We have uh, the uh, mining, uh, the mining is a huge year, so, and there are a lot of opportunities in that sector. And even for the, the Ghanaian, 
I'm sure they will not have a facility at something like this in this country uh, for them to explore. So rather they pack their bags and book their flight tickets out of Ghana, they can come, hopefully they have a weekend come here and explore the safaris. We're going to have more uh, safari, uh, other guest activities. We can see the touch works is all happening because that's all the rooms. We'll, I'll take you there and I'll give a small description on that one. This is, this is impressive. Huh? This is going to be our restaurant. In terms of uh, hospitality, yes, I hope you are bringing the East African attitude. Uh, we are all those type of whatever. We yeah. see. I have worked with uh, Aman Resorts. Okay. I started my career with Aman Resorts, which okay. is having small. Uh, which operates small facilities all over the world and they are the number one chain yeah, resort right. in the world. Yeah. Amon Resorts International, which okay. is a Singapore company. Mm -hmm. uh, they are more into more personalized service and they create their own philosophy and their own work experience. So I worked my career with starting from the first six, six and a half years in a yeah. jungle with their wow. one of their signature property in India. So what was the motivation for me? What was the motivation for coming to Mali? For me? Yeah. Uh, that's what my uh, passion to work in, in safari lodges and uh, May, I am not a city person, so for me it is a, it's, it's, it's a lodges and the safaris and the jungle wow. and the animals will make me happy. <laughs> so that made me to move to East Africa yeah. where I explore another couple of years mm -hmm. with lots of uh, lions Whoa. in Man Maniara National Park. And Whoa, then is it scary? Ah, it is wonderful. So I'm going so, to see the rooms, yeah. then we can go from... I'll, I'll, oh yeah, sure. Can this is now going to be our restaurant. Okay, right so have, yeah, that area will be have the buffet okay. counters. And uh, that is going to be a kitchen. Uh huh. That is all about the central facility. Okay. They are still working on the uh, thatch, as you can see the roofing, mm -hmm. the pathway. They are just covering this part. Yes. I like to see the room. See how pretty, sure. yeah, how spacious. Sure. So we had a HR uh, challenges here, but uh, the general. What kind of challenges have you been encountering so far? In, in scale of uh, skilled uh, staff and getting it. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had managed to get a good, building up a good team. Okay. Selecting, uh, we had almost interviewed 200 people, mm -hmm. and to take a selecting a shortlisted uh, mm -hmm. team of almost 40 to 50 people. Okay. And I'll take you to the room. So you have all these workers stationed here. They come in. The we room. are building a staff village outside the park. Okay. Uh, we are heading uh, electricity from VRA, okay. and then we have a backup generator for almost 400 kV. This is only for uh, the solar we had installed initially for uh, the supplying hot waters to the kitchen and all the rooms. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. basically one each uh, plant uh, unit will serve uh, uh, hot water for the three rooms. Wow. So this will be this will the entrance, entrance, main entrance main for the lodges. Lodges and then mm -hmm. uh, we this is going to be the balcony of the yeah. tent. A clear demarcation from exactly. there. And we, there is, the, in this structure, there is going to be a uh, canvas, a tent material coming in. Okay. It is not going to be a wall or anything. Yeah. So you can see, this is the, going to be uh, the frame for, you can see the frame mm -hmm. uh, for the, the door. Yeah. So we get inside this, you can see the two windows. Okay. This will be the head part and the bed will come in this part. And then we'll have uh, here uh, a, a cabin with a TV which can be folded. If there's no guests on either, they can fold it. Wow. So that how, how secure would it be? Uh, Pretty secured, fairly? It is secured. Uh, you mean the security of the guests? Yes, of the guests. And the structure itself? It is too strong. You can find it out. This, All these woods are uh, thick and brought it and uh, it has been uh, mm, used medicine uh, for last uh, two or three times okay. they did it all it and it will be more okay so this is actually the uh, yeah they will be holding that in material okay okay this will actually be holding the material yes more like the pillars okay. uh, it will be tied to this part yes so basically it is not going to but this is holding all the structure okay yeah clearly so yeah and you have about what one two three four five six seven eight of them yes which is, which, is, which is fairly okay. This is quite impressive. And there was a washroom? Yeah, we're going to the back there. We have the wardrobe here. Okay. Here, and there. And then we have the uh, wash basin coming up. Two wash basins coming up. Yeah. With hot water supply. The height is a bit low here because this room is for this handicap. Oh. So you can see the height. 
I think. So you're actually making um, provision for yes. physically challenging yes. people? Yes, yes. This two rooms. We have a one room in the side wing and the other room in the other. So only two rooms for physically challenging exactly. person. What if you have more, more than that? Uh, this is going to be the shower area. This is beautiful. I, I'm particularly impressed because... This are the stone works we do. It. This all stones have been taken from the site. One they're doing in the project. So then they made it. This is beautiful. And everything is... But there's no water flowing. No, no, not yet. Wow. This is almost completed. It's almost completed. It's Just almost need completed. to feed the... Uh, oh, there's water, water actually. Water. Sorry. Wow. I didn't know that. There's actually water flowing. This is beautiful. This is magnificent. I mean, we would have missed all this opportunity. Well, so you say that uh, you hope to finish this by... Uh, by May. By May this year. Uh, April, by April, we are planning for opening this week. And then what's going to become of the, uh, the environment, the outside space? See, we are not that. going, it could be natural vegetations like this, mm. just growing up. We will not do any uh, lawns or anything, artificial things. Mm -hmm. It is just going to be its own way. Do you, do you think you'd want to bring in some beautiful uh, animals around? Or you think you want to just... Leave Keep the it. space as it is as for it lodging, is. Exactly. so that all the natural habitats, the animals are there for you to see when still, you want to. Sti exactly, but still uh, we can see that we have uh, elephants walking through in our camp in another part of the other side of our wow. lodge. This is going to be our outdoor shower unit. An outdoor shower unit? Yes. What's the idea? Uh, the guests can enjoy a shower outside. <laughs> With no door. With no door and they come from that area mm -hmm. and then it's their own private. Uh, I mean we used to do this when we were kids. You know, <laughs> most most houses have the alcohol the shower area. But growing up we stopped doing that. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, 
it has started with one investor. This investor is going to start. It is they are going to do their own marketing. They have their marketing strategy, and so definitely the interest is going to to grow. The promotion has started. People are going to come, and we owe it a duty to be able to accommodate them. So we need to expand our facilities. In tourism, it's really about an experience. Um, the kinds of hospitality facilities that will be available to support all of this interest from this growing middle class, uh, to create um, a tangible place for people to go and just relax and enjoy themselves. And I think that the Sada region is one of those regions where you really can lay back and, and just enjoy the opportunities that are presented. So uh, I think that we can only expect very positive outcomes. Uh, we're looking forward to continue to work with the Secretariat to ensure that once the investors have been presented with the opportunities, the process of rolling out the investments becomes very efficient. And again, I think that's probably the most powerful case for the collaboration between the GIPC and, and the SADA Secretariat. The way to go is private partnership. I mean, in all the, world, in, in all the countries that are doing well with, with tourism, that I've, I've had the opportunity to, to go to before and during this appointment, have, have individuals, private people, private people, putting their, 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 their economic power behind something they believe in. I think this is one of the key locations that SADA would actually try and facilitate private sector investment so that people, uh, the Moli Ginga actually enter into a PPP arrangement to develop the tourist sector in Mali. This is Ghana's Northern Savannah Ecological Zone, a place where great things happen.